Hi, welcome to Peace Donkeys. Um, I've had lots and lots of requests on how to make a breastplate for your horse. Um, and I keep telling people I don't use one. I'm not going to show you how to do one. But I've had so many, I've decided that I would um, show you how to do this. Um, so what I've done here is I've done trilobite in the, in the middle. And then a divided fishtail. And then for the strap that goes down to the girth, I've just done plain Solomon or... Um, uh, or cobra weave just for, for that section there and I'll just so that's just got a tip that goes um, down to your girth now what I've done here um, I've seen lots of um, breastplates where they have um, latigos uh, or like a leather strap there um, but what you could do is um, I actually made this strap for another project but you could use a buckle um, strap like this so that it's adjustable so that would just go through there oh sorry that would go through there through your d-ring on your saddle and then you could have that adjustable to whatever size you needed to obviously you do that in the same color um, but because that's off a different project that's another color um, and also you could do the same on this if you wanted to um, you could you could make that adjustable or you could just have the clip and you could add a little bit of string underneath your girth to make it longer or shorter but if you're doing it just for your own horse it's the same size every time you can just make that custom to fit your horse so I'll go ahead and show you how I made this breastplate thanks for watching and please subscribe So first off, attach your cord to one of your rings. And then I'm just going to attach that to my jig to hold in place for now. And then you'll attach that to your second ring. And pull your cord through. And then you'll go up as for however long you want your you go up for however long you want the first part to be, and then you'll come up a second time through your loop again, through your, your ring. That, sorry, your ring again. And pull the cord through. Okay, so once you've got your cords through, you're going to bring them on to either side, ready to work with them. Okay, so to start with, I'm just going to put the, the cord that the beads are going to go on just down through that little um, hitch there, just to, just to attach it, keep it tight, in place. Then these other two strands, you're going to start your weave. Okay, so I'm just going to start with the right side under, over the centre strands, and then under the left hand strand, just to get things started. Then the other strand is going to go over the left strand, under the middle strands, and over the right hand strand. Pull the cord through. Okay, right strand is going to come under the right strand, over the centre. Sorry over the centre, under the left strand. Okay, 
Okay, so the left strand's going to go over the left strand, under the middle strands, and over the right strand. Okay, and just push those up. The right strand comes under the right strand, over the centre strands, under the left strand. Okay, then the top strand is going to go over the left strand, under the middle strands, and back over the right hand strand. And just slide those up so they're nice and tight. Okay, right strand underneath, over the centres, and underneath the left. Okay, then the top strand comes over the top of the left strand, underneath the centres, and out to the right hand side. Just tighten them up, slide the centre strands up, okay, underneath, over all the centre strands, and then underneath the left strand. Okay, so the top strand comes over, under, and then over. And again, slide them all up so they're nice and firm. Under, over all the <coughs> centre strands, and then out the left side. strand comes over, under, and then out the right side. Under, over all the strands, under. them up, top strand comes down underneath the centre strands and out to the opposite side. Okay, and again we just slide all those up. Okay, so at this point I'm going to separate these strands. I'm just going to put the bead strand out of the way. And I'm just going to go with the right strand under, over just one of the centre strands, and then back under, and then back out. Just pull all that cord through again. Okay. Under, over, back under back out the other side. So you're really just weaving in and out of those two strands, the right hand side two strands, and slide those up, under, over, back under, and back out the right hand side. Just keep sliding them up so that they're nice and firm. Under, over, back under, and back over.
again tighten them up each time you do it around and over back up through the middle and out again slide them up so that they're nice and firm more Okay, so that might be enough for that side. Now I'm going to do the same on this side. Just keep that centre piece out of the way. So then we go over, under, and then back over, under the other side. over under and then back down again okay tighten them up Maybe a couple more. Okay, so that looks like an even amount. So I'm going to put my beads on now. I'm just using these little fox beads. I think I might just do three. Okay, 
and then I'm going to start back on the main weave again. So I'm going to join these two together. So I'm going to go under, over the centres, and under. Okay, and then the top strand is going to go over, under the centres, and out over the right hand side strands. Just slide those up. Okay, right hand strand comes under, over, under. strand goes over the first strand, under the middle strands, and then out the right hand side. Okay, slide them up. I did just want to make sure that I've got a bit of a gap there so that you can see see that there's a gap between those those strands. Okay, top strand comes over, under, and out the other side. strand over, under, over.
Okay, so I'm ready to do my divided section again. Again, small beads on. Okay, so I'm nearly at the end, so I'm just going to put my center cord that I've been putting the beads on down through the ring. And then back up through the middle. And I'm just going to cut that off there, give that a little melt. I'll just keep weaving over the top of that to, to hide that. Okay, so you can pull that really tight. Now you can probably get a fib if you want and just weave that back, back through a couple of places just so it can't come undone. And then your one side of your breastplate's done. So I'm just going to go around the back and then come up through there. Just pull that tight. Actually, I might come up through there because I don't really want this to be on the hook next to the horse. might just finish melt that there and the same on the other side just melt them under that loop and that should be fairly fairly secure
Okay, that's fairly flat. Won't even be able to move that down just a smidge, just so it doesn't stick out too far. There we go, and that's not too bad. That's not too bad at all. Okay, so that's one one side done. 